Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. Today's lesson is all about factorials. And to understand about this topic, let us have first an example. How many possible way or ways can we arrange the letter or letters? Number 1, letter A, taken all at the time. In this item, we have only one way to arrange letter A. Number 2, A and B. Since we have two letters to be selected, applying the fundamental counting principle, we will draw two lines here. On the first line, we can select letter A or B. So we have here two options. If we have chosen her letter A, then therefore on the second line, we only have letter B. So we have only one option here. So 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So there are two possible ways on how we're going to arrange the letters A and B taken all at the time. Number 3, letters A, B, and C. So since we have three letters to be selected, so we're going to have three lines. On the first line, we can select letters A, B, or C. So we have here three. Then, if we have chosen here letter A, we have only B and C to choose from. So we have here two. If we have here A, and you have chosen here letter B, then you only have letter C left here. So we have here one option. Multiplying this, we will have 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6. So there are 6 possible ways we can arrange the letters A, B, and C taken all at the time. Number 4, A, B, C, and D. We have four letters to be selected, so let's us draw four lines. For the first line, we can select A, B, C, or D. So we have four options here. If we have chosen here letter A, so you only have B, C, D to choose from. So we have here three options. If you have chosen here letter A and on this part you have chosen letter B, so this part you have C and D only, so you have two options. And if you have chosen here letter C, then the remaining letter is letter D, so we have one option. Multiplying this, so we have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, we have 24 ways to arrange the letters A, B, C, and D taken all at the time. Number 5, A, B, C, D, and E. We have 5 letters to be selected, so we are going to draw 5 lines. On the first line, we have A, B, C, D, E to choose from, so we have 5 here. If you have chosen here letter A, so on this part, we have B, C, D, E to choose from. So we have four options here. If you have chosen here letter B, so we have here C, D, E. So three options. If you have chosen here letter C, then therefore, you have now D, E to choose from on this part. So we have only two letters. And then therefore, if you have chosen your letter D, so what's left is letter E. So here you have one option. So 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 120. So there are 120 possible ways you can arrange the letters A, B, C, D, and E taken all at the time. Now if you're going to observe the arrangement of their products, the numbers are multiplied from N or the number of objects to choose from to 1 or from 1 to N. This is what we mean by factorials. Now, if we're going to write this into a factorial notation, the factorial notation is given by an exclamation point. In number 1, this is written as 1 factorial. 
Number two, this is the same as two factorial. Okay, number three, three factorial. And number four, four factorial. And number five, five factorial. Again, our definition for factorial is the factorial notation n factorial, read as n factorial, is defined as the product of all positive integers from 1 to n or from n to 1. So that is n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times 3 times 2 times 1. For example, if n is equal to 5, n factorial is equal to 5 factorial. And that is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Here are the values from 1 factorial to 15 factorial. Thank you for watching and learning with me. Till next time.